the coronavirus pandemic, Hansen's disease has been forgotten by many. As a spokesperson for the campaign created by Sasakawa Health Foundation along with Mohan, my mission is to tell the world, don't forget Hansen's disease. For the fight against Hansen's disease, I was invited to be a part of the worldwide campaign Don't Forget Hansen's Disease. It was launched in a ceremony held in Manaus on September 28th. Olá, eu sou a Caroline Gomes Teixeira, Miss Brasil Mundo 2021, e hoje eu estou conhecendo a sede do Mohan aqui em Manaus. Antonio Aleixo is a Hansen's disease ex-colony, where today the headquarters of Mohan Amazonas is located. Currently a hospital, this was once a place where those affected by Hansen's disease were segregated from society. It was in Antonio Aleixo that I had the honor of meeting Dona Maria de Fátima, diagnosed with Hansen's disease and isolated when she was still young. Dona Maria had 11 children. None of them she had the right to hold in her arms or breastfeed. The children of people affected by Hansen's disease during decades were taken away from their biological parents and put for adoption to foster families often in the other regions of the country. As crianças nasciam e ele tirava, porque não podia permanecer com a gente. Aí, meus graças a Deus, teve quem quisesse. Duas irmãs criou quatro e outros e os outros também foram criados por gente boa. Né? Tem uns que eu não conheço, mas porque foram embora. Dona Maria, luckily, found one of her daughters, Katia Regina, many years later. Today, she lives with her daughter, granddaughter and great-granddaughter. What we see here is an exception. Most families have never been reunited. Then we traveled 30 kilometers into the rainforest. These are the rooms of another formal colony, Paricatuba. After 40 years of operation, this colony was transferred to Antonio Aleixo, thanks to ignorance and prejudice. Back then, the population believed that Hansen's disease patients were contaminating the river's water taking the disease to Manaus. Strolling through what are now rooms, it is impossible not to feel the anguish of those who once were imprisoned here and prevented from living freely simple for carrying a disease. From Manaus, we flew to Labria, 700 kilometers south and one of these areas in Brazil with the highest incidence of Hansen's disease. The Don't Forget Hansen's Disease campaign was also embraced by the city. I visited the city's Hansen's disease and tuberculosis control center. I was shocked to learn that more than 25 new cases were registered in the city during the pandemic, mostly young people. Mais, né, é, com medo de, de procurar o serviço e fazer o exame. 
at bairro de São Lázaro, where people affected by Hansen's disease are concentrated, the accounts and life stories are heartbreaking. We navigated the Purus River and visit people who built their own houses, who plant and harvest their own food. Hansen's disease is common here. Manuel Pereira discovered the first symptoms of Hansen's disease as a teenager. Taken to a hospital only years later, the disease was already at an advanced state and he lost part of one of his legs. Traveling through the famous Transamazonica by car, our next destination was 400 down south, Porto Velho, the capital city of Rondônia State. The event, which marked the addition of Porto Velho to the campaign, happened in the high style featuring ethics presentations and with the presence of the city's first lady, Ieda Chaves. Parabenizar também a Miss por essa atitude tão bonita, né? Quando a gente é jovem, às vezes a gente deixa para mais tarde fazer as coisas, né? Ser engajada. Então, assim, parabéns por abraçar essa causa tão nobre. In an open-air public demonstration, I was joined by Thais Dias, a medical student who was a candidate at Miss World Brazil 2011, and finalist in the Beauty with Purpose Brazil competition, and the current Mr. Rondônia, Narael Ferrari. I have also met this group of amazing women who were affected by Hansen's disease and got together to produce by jewelry as a way of making money during the pandemic, using seeds and other material found in the forest. In Porto Velho, I was interviewed on three of the main television channels in the country record SBT and Band, promoting the cause, which is one of my main duties as an ambassador for the cause. Information helps to eliminate ignorance. In 1975, the Marcelina sisters took over the administration of a former Hansen's disease colony to transform it into the Santa Maria Hospital, a reference in the treatment of the disease. I've met Sister Lina Maria Ambiel and Claudia, who showed me around. I am currently carrying out a fundraising campaign to purchase an electroneuromyography device for the Santa Marcelina Hospital's Hansen's disease program. It will be an important tool to qualify the care provided, considering the significant increase in cases that are not easily diagnosed, with no apparent spots on the skin. We need to raise approximately 11,000, and even if it takes a while, I will not give up until I can make the donation. Days later, I traveled to Florianópolis, for another noble mission, to support children and teenagers facing cancer. Business woman and Miss Rio Grande do Sul, 1989, Ceres Ribeiro, invited me to participate in a fundraising campaign for Avos, a house that hosts children and teenagers undergoing cancer treatments along with their families with no cost. I participated in the launching of an exhibition held at Shopping Beira Mar, telling 46 years of Avos history. I donate my entire present fee to Avos 
and was joined by the other local beauty queens and mister to help promote the cause and get more donations. E eu sempre falo que eu gostaria que mesmo quando eu não estivesse mais aqui, que essa árvore sempre estivesse com as suas portas abertas, servindo a nossa criançada e seus familiares, aqueles que precisarem da gente. I spoke to the children, revealing my own story. I had thyroid cancer when I was 21 years old, and I was cured. Hopefully, they will be as well. Eu perdi minha mãe para o câncer muito cedo, ela tinha apenas 50 anos. Eu costumo dizer que essa doença é muito cruel, é muito, muito cruel não só para o doente, como para a família. Ela causa dores físicas horríveis e psicológicas, porque nunca sabemos como que vai ser a resposta ao tratamento. Quando passou a, o choque e aquela dor intensa da perda, é, eu não conseguia parar de pensar como que seria essa situação vivenciada por uma criança. After everything I've seen and experienced, it's clear in my heart that I need to do more, and I decided to dare. As Miss World Brazil, and if God allows me as Miss World, I want to help with the development of the Hansen's disease vaccine. The coronavirus pandemic proved that a vaccine can be developed with the joint effort of science from around the world and the necessary investments. Hansen's disease has been around for thousands of years and it is time to have a vaccine for it. To help me in this mission, I will invite Miss World winners and candidates who are brilliant doctors to join me, like Rolene Strauss, Karina Charles, Mariana Notarangelo, Jessica Carvalho, among others, and of course, Julia Morley. Impossible! I believe that the impossible becomes possible when someone makes a reality. But until then, I ask you, don't forget about Hansen's disease.